What's going on, channel? Be Faction. My name is Josh Williamson. I'm back. It's been a few days since I've uploaded or streamed, and the reason why is because I was sick with a very sore throat. I couldn't really speak all that well. It was hard for me to even attempt to do an up a video upload or a stream. But now I'm back. I'm feeling better. And what what, what better way to celebrate with a new video recipe? For this whole video recipe, I'm going to show you how to make chocolate crinkles. Now. I usually make these particular cookies around Christmas time, but they're a great cookie to have at any time of the year. And they're very easy to make, and they taste amazing. Probably my favorite cookie of all time. So let's get started. So to start this recipe off, in this bowl right here, I have four cups of all-purpose flour. To that, we're gonna add four teaspoons of baking powder. And one and a half teaspoons of salt. And whisk those together. Next, in a stand mixer, I have one cup of oil. You can use any oil you want. I'm using peanut oil, but to that, you want to add four cups of white sugar. And yes, I know that is a lot of sugar, but that's a required amount. And two cups of cocoa powder. Now, I really recommend that you use Dutch processed cocoa powder because it has a much deeper chocolate flavor than regular cocoa powder. But if you can't find it, you can use regular cocoa powder if you want to. But anyways, what you want to do is mix all this together until it's well combined. After that's all mixed in, what you want to do is add eight eggs. Yes, that is a lot of eggs, but again, that's a required, required amount. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract and mix those in. After that's mixed in, finally add that flour mixture that you made before and mix that in until combined. Okay, so after you made the dough, what you want to do is cover it in plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator for at least four hours. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator overnight. What refrigerating it that long will do is it'll harden up the dough a bit and it'll make it easier to work with for the next step. All right, so next, get a baking tray, line it with parchment paper, and also get a bowl and fill it with some powdered sugar. And take tablespoonfuls of that chilled dough that you made, roll it into a ball, and you also want to roll it in the powdered sugar until it is all coated. And then you just want to place it on the baking tray and repeat the process with the rest of the dough. All right, so after you've done that, what you want to do is put this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 to 12 minutes. You'll notice that when they're done baking, they'll have a really nice looking crackly look to them on top. They're going to be really, really presentable cookies. All right, so this is what the cookies should look like when they come out of the oven. Look at how pretty they look. They look so awesome right now, don't they? But anyways, what you want to do is let them cool down on the on the pan for about five minutes, five or ten minutes. Then we want to transform them to a wire rack to cool completely, and you want to repeat the baking with the rest of the dough you have. And I'll come back and I'll show these off for presentation. All right, our chocolate crinkles are done. Like I said, so easy to make that, yeah, they were a bit time consuming because you had to chill them for a very long time, but who cares? These are, in my opinion, the best cookies of all time. I'm going to break one in half just to show you the texture inside. As you can see on the inside, it's got a really, really fudgy texture. It's almost like, you know, a cookie mixed with a brownie. These are amazing. I really hope you try these out. But if you do, leave in the comment section down below and tell me what you thought, whether you liked it or you hated it. And if you liked this video, thumb it up, hate this video, thumb it down. And be sure to subscribe and become a member of the JW Faction on a jury of 10,000 subscribers. See you later.